Hello everyone, Zadix Squared here and welcome to Clan Krug. So this is the first video in a series aimed at helping new lights and returning players learn more about Destiny and its current systems and the current meta. To start, I'm doing a few videos on armor and its different functions, and this video is going to be about stats and what bonuses they provide. The six stats are Mobility, Resilience, Recovery, Discipline, Intellect, and Strength. Mobility buffs your first jump height and your walking speed, not your running speed. Resilience gives you more damage resistance. Recovery decreases the time before you start healing after you take damage. Discipline decreases your grenade cooldown. Intellect decreases your super cooldown. And Strength decreases your melee cooldown. Each of the three classes also gains an additional benefit from one of the stats, decreasing the cooldown of their class ability. For Hunters, this is your Mobility, which decreases your dodge cooldown. For Titans, it's Resilience, which decreases your barricade cooldown. For Warlocks, it's Recovery. Based on their current benefits, Resilience is often viewed as the best stat, as it helps you stay alive with damage reduction. And from there, you should either have High Mobility if you're a Hunter, or High Recovery if you're a Warlock. Titans usually aim to have decent recovery as your secondary stat after resilience, as the health regeneration benefits are more helpful than your mobility increase. From there, high discipline is usually the best, unless you're running a melee build, at which point strength takes precedence. Intellect is in a weird spot right now, as there are other things that better help you get your super back, such as just dealing damage. Each stat has a max cap of 100, and each tier is increased by a factor of 10. This means having 90 or 99 in the stat provides the same benefit, and also going over 100 does not provide any benefit versus having just 100. So having 143 in a stat will give you the same benefits as having 100 in a stat. The benefits each tier provides can be seen when hovering over that stat. So, as you can see, while at 100 resilience I gain 30% damage reduction, however if I then change my resilience to 90, you can see that I only have 27% damage reduction. Learning which stats apply best to your playstyle and class is key to amplifying your builds and improving your experience playing Destiny. Most of this comes with experience, but even veteran players use bad stat distributions, or bad stats in general, as they might not know which stats are the best for them. On top of this, Bungie also tends to change what benefits these stats provide, or the exact amount of a benefit that they provide to balance them occasionally. So Resilience, which a few years ago was a bad stat, is now arguably the best stat, as it gives damage reduction, which it didn't used to. However, with Lightfall, they decrease the amount of max damage reduction you can get at tier 10 resilience, so technically it's worse now than it was a few months ago. If a major shift happens again in the future, like the one that happened for resilience, I do plan on putting out an update video talking about these changes so that you're better able to keep up to date on the current meta shifts. Anyway, I've been Zadex Squared. Thank you all for watching. If you have any other questions, feel free to post them in the comments and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. And I'll see you all next time, where I plan to be talking about stat distributions and how the random stats on armor works so that you're better able to find what roles you're looking for on your specific armor pieces. Until next time, everyone.